Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. Today we're going to talk about the Benji Lock. We're big fans of Shark Tank, and so we were really excited this year at CES when we saw Robbie Cabral over in the Hampton booth showing off their new Benji Locks by Hampton Products. Uh, after the show, when we got home, uh, Benji Lock was really nice enough to send us a couple of their locks so we can test them out. So today we're just going to unbox them and get them set up. So here is the regular Benji lock. So this is really nice, substantial package. It's pretty heavy. It's a really nice, sturdy lock. So I'm gonna open it up and we'll get it set up. Okay, oh, there we go. I found the secret. So here's the lock. And here's the setup instructions. And let's go from here. So it's all pretty tightly wound up here. It's got a micro USB charging cable right here and the instructions all right and we've got two master keys that go with this project. so let's just run through this so the first thing we're supposed to do is we're supposed to charge our Benji lock now the first person who's going to program the lock becomes the master user. I am the master user. So let's see, but we can also um, program, I guess, up to 10 different fingerprints so I can share this lock with Mark or somebody else. Okay, so I'm going to start by programming it myself as the master user. So uh, the first thing I need to do is wake up my Benji lock by touching the screen. So here's the lock right here. Here's where you put your fingerprint. So I'm going to use my thumb. So I've touched the screen and it's lighting up blue. So now I need to insert the key and turn it counterclockwise. So now... <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so we tried this a couple times. It didn't quite work right, so we weren't sure what to do. So we went to the Benji Lock website and we reviewed the videos. Now they have some really great videos of how to program the lock for the first time and how to reset it if you have a problem. Uh, so we definitely recommend that you go ahead and watch that and we'll post the links into the comment field below so you have it. It's also right here in the instructions, uh, the link to the step-by-step -step videos. Lock. So first thing you need to do is you need to press any finger here and wake it up. So it's awake, the little blue light flashed. And go ahead and plug the key in, and then you turn it counterclockwise. That's going to turn it into programming mode. And uh, the blue fingerprint LED sensor appears solid, so you can see that it's blue. Now I've got to touch the screen again with any finger. And then I've got to press this little button right here on the bottom. And just do that once. Now I'm ready to program my finger that I want to use. So I'm going to, this is going to use my thumb. So I need to put it on the sensor five times and I need to make sure that I hold it on there until this blue LED button on the top is solid. So let's do it once. You can see, it's solid. So I do it again. It's solid. Okay, five times. Now it flashes. That means that it's stored. So now this is the master user. Now I just remove the key. Okay, so now the lock's programmed. I'm gonna test it out and see if it works. So I'm just gonna put my finger here and I gotta make sure I do it lightly and I hold it and then it opens right away. Okay, so I've programmed the Benji lock with my master finger here, um, but you can also share the Benji lock with up to 10 uh, different fingerprints. So I'm gonna add Mark to the Benji lock so he can also open it in case I need it. So we're going to go ahead and get started following the directions here. So first we've got to wake up our Benji lock by touching this finger here. So I've woken it up. So there we go. So then I'm going to put it into programming mode and it's lit blue. Now I need to use my original stored fingerprint. That's a master lock. So register that. Now I've got to press the button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now Mark can store his fingerprint. Go ahead. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Five. Now it's flashing. Should flash. There it goes. Button was flashing. Now that means that he should be programmed. So take out the key. 
We're all set. Now let's test it, Mark. No. There it goes. So we're all set. So now we have, I have a couple of fingerprints stored for myself. I've got a fingerprint stored for Mark. So now we're all set. And that's setting up the Benji lock. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get started and open up the TSA lock. So this is a great lock because this is approved for TSA use. That means that TSA has the master key. So if they need to get in your bag, they can. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here's the instructions with the charging cord. Here's the packaging. I'm going to pull out the plastic. And here we go. Here's the TSA Benji lock. Uh, this is a bag lock, so it's not quite as... Um, big and bulky as the Benji lock. So let's go ahead and get this program. So we've got again, we've got our instructions and our charging cable here. Okay, so now we're ready to program the TSA lock. This is a little bit different than the other lock. So what it's got, it's got a fingerprint sensor on the front and then it's got keypad on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run through these, uh, run through the directions and I'm gonna go ahead and program that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to touch the lock to wake it up. So the lights flash and then you press the number one button four times. That opens the lock. Now we've got that and we can start programming. So the first thing we do is we put one finger down and one button lights up. Put the next finger down, another one lights up. Next finger lights up. Finger again, lights up. Finger again, lights up. Finger again. Now all the lights are flashed. All the lights illuminated, they all flash. We just close it. And then it should be ready to go. Okay. So when you program it, you have to go really fast because you have a very limited amount of time between each of the steps. So now that I've gone through that, let me just try it again and make sure it opens. There we go. The most important thing to do is to change the default passcode. So we're going to go ahead and change that to a number so we have a backup lock. So we've got to do this pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and go through it. So the first thing you need to do is press and hold the sensor with the finger and uh, go ahead and hold it until the lights start rotating. So the little lights are still solid. There they go, they're rotating. Now I need to put in a new code. And it should be set. And I close the lock. And I've got a new passcode. So I'll go ahead and try it. It works. All right, so these are the Benji locks. We've got two different versions here. We've got the original Benji lock. It's a nice, solid, heavy-duty padlock. You can unlock it with up to 10 fingerprints, or it also gets unlocked with a backup key, which is great. Then we've got the TSA version. This is great for traveling and securing your bags. The TSA has a master key in case they need to open it, and you can store up to five fingerprints on this one, or you can use the back and you can program a four-digit, actually, you can program a three to eight-digit code um, to unlock your lock that way so you can lock it, unlock it both ways. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information about the Benji locks as well as information on how to buy them in the description box below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for more smart home stories, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.